Hello friends, welcome back to the another portion from physics. I hope for mean, J, mean, and advanced as well. So the question uh, goes like this: There is a charge particle Q with the mass m. It has a velocity v not j cap. It is at collision, and there is an electric field e not i cap, and that v v uh, also i cap, not in the upper direction. V also i cap only. Okay, this is a magnetic field. This is the electric field. We need to tell uh, the time at which the speed is equal to two meters. Awesome. So first of all, understand that whenever in physics time is asked, we need to find, we need to solve kinematics. Okay, so we need to solve kinematics. Yeah. For second thing, we need to see that see uh, V and P, what they will do. So V Q V cross V is the force, right? We know that. So V cross V, yes. So the force will be like this. If the force is like this, so it will. Start moving in this direction, right? In the circular motion, and the electric field will accelerate it in the x direction. So ultimately, it will move in the helical path. So it is moving in the helical path. There are two ways we can solve it. Yeah. So v cross v this direction. So force is in this direction. It will move like this. Electric field will accelerate in the x direction. So there are two uh, ways we can solve it. So see. Till to v not, from v not, the kinetic energy is how much? Half m v square final minus emission. That kinetic energy increase, and uh, you know it is done by only electric field because uh, magnetic field doesn't do any work. So the magnetic field is not doing any work. Work the magnetic field is two into e force into distance. So from from here we find the distance. Then after how much distance this will happen? Now we can see in the x direction, initial velocity is zero. What is the acceleration in x direction? That is q into e upon mass, right? And how much the distance we can calculate from this point? When we know three things in kinematics, we can find anything. We can find the time period. So this is one way we can solve it. Okay. So I hope it is clear. And uh, let us discuss the other way. So the other way is. See, electric field will increase the velocity in this direction. That means ultimately, when it will have some velocity here, magnetic field will only rotate it. That means in y direction, the velocity is constant will remain constant. Suppose we have v1 as uh, the velocity in the x direction, the resultant of both will be 2v0. Right? From here we can find out this as root 3v0 because this square plus this square at the root is 2v0. That means in the initial of the that means in the x direction, initial velocity is zero, final velocity is root three v naught, and how much is the acceleration? Q into e force upon mass. We have three things. You can find the time, right? V is equal to C. So it's as simple as that. But yes, we need to understand the concept that uh, you know kinetic energy is increased by only electric field. Work that is uh, you know done by only electric field. Magnetic field has no role in that. Then only we can solve such type of questions. So I have made. Uh, I hope I have made the concepts clear. Uh, so if you have doubts, then write. If you can write in the comments. Share this video with other friends. Keep practicing. We'll meet in the next class. All the best.